Welcome everybody to Command Combat Battle Reports, and today we have Total War, uh, or Empire Total War. This is before they started putting Total War before the names of everything. Anyway, so we have in this particular battle, uh, Great Britain versus Russia. Uh, so let's take a look at our forces here. The uh, Great Britain forces, you got uh, some cavalry over here on, the, on their left side. Regiment of Horse, Lifeguards, that's some heavy cavalry with, uh, let's see, Regiment of Horse, I think it's just sort of medium regular cavalry. Some light infantry over here on this side, six pounder artillery, of course you want to put your artillery on this hill, you can see they have really good vantage point up there, look at that way down, I mean just a perfect view, uh, gonna be able to bombard them. By the way, we have this on uh, top um, graphics, so you're gonna be able to take a really good look at some of these soldiers here, get a good look at their uniforms and these cannons as they are in place, they are in motion, getting ready to get that cannon. I'm surprised the cannon isn't just being placed because, I mean, again, look at that uh, spot. Anyway, all right, so line infantry all along here, more line infantry. It looks like they put the light infantry right by the cannon so they can place up the spike so no cavalry can go get it. More line infantry, all line infantry along here. General's bodyguard back there, line infantry, line infantry all the way. Grenadiers along the line and then 24 pounder foot probably to put up on this hill to hit on this flank and light infantry with lifeguards and regiment of horse on the other side so it's just a very evenly set up uh, battlefield the artillery on both sides on the hills to hit the uh, the Russians on both of those sides and uh, a lot of infantry in the middle to go up there so they'll probably go up through uh, all the way along here now over here on the Russian side they're a little bit more scattered you have some over here and then some over here let's take a look at what they got got Cossack Oh, what is that? At uh, Adaman Cavalry. Oh, Cliff, where are you when I need you? So there's the Cossack uh, Cavalry set up there with uh, their nifty little hats. I shouldn't say little. That's very patronizing, and besides, they're not little. They are very manly. Manly hats or very strange hairdos. All right, over here, more Cossack Adaman in Cavalry. I want to just say Adaman. It's kind of like Attaboy, but Adaman. Adaman. All right, so a whole bunch of Cossack Cavalry over here. Cossacks, of course, they're good with their cavalry. They're uh, good horsemen. So it looks like, I mean, because they're right behind the, the woods there, so I don't know what they're going to do. They're either going to shift around way over on the left or uh, go around here to the middle. We'll see what they do. Siberian hunters right there in the woods, and it looks like they are in motion to go into those woods. I'm kinda, I guess we're kind of looking into the sun here. Here we go. Here are these hunters. So they'll be getting ready to go in there, into those woods apparently. That seems to be just sort of their uh, auxiliary left side because their main force is over here on their right, now our left as we're looking at them. Siberian hunters out here in the open, these guys do not have woods to hide in, but they do have those uh, fences up there if they can get to them. And more Siberian hunters over here. Behind them is regular line infantry along this wall. Oh, the guards uh, right along this wall, so that's sort of their best uh, inf infantry, I think, in this particular battle. Guards all along here with some artillery, just puckle guns. Oh no, okay, so that's not artillery, those are the small guns uh, just set up to uh, command that field right in front of them. And then the line of artillery, here we go, here's the Russian artillery. In fact, this should be a good artillery duel because you, the Russians and British uh, were known in this time for ha both having really large and big artillery. So, you're go uh, Russians especially were known for their larger artillery and the British were known for good artillery. So, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm not wrong with that because I know the French were good with artillery too, but British just seem to have always been good with artillery as far as I can understand. Anyway, so they don't have as commanding a hill, but they do have, you know, behind that, uh, that stone wall there, they have a commanding view of the field. So a lot of artillery backed up by infantry so if the uh, enemy comes up to them so yeah all that artillery behind the wall and then guards oh good so they are really uh, the quality rather than quantity which is sort of the opposite from what the Russians usually do uh, historically at least and then some more artillery back here the howitzers for uh, bombarding over the heads of their own troops so they uh, have definitely set up to have a commanding view of that field with their uh, Siberian hunters out there to skirmish with the enemy slow them down on their advance and then Cossack uh, cavalry over here on this side to both guard the flank and make a flank attack into that field. So this should be interesting to see how it goes. Let's see uh, what the players decide to do. 
Alright, as we saw already, the uh, British are already in motion, and the Russians are playing the defensive game. I mean, they're set up, they're commanding that field, uh, and they've got the others way back there uh, behind those woods just sort of going, okay, you guys go ahead and decide what, you are gonna, what you're going to do, and we'll react. Siberian hunters are going into the woods, it looks like, so they'll go ahead and do that, and uh, the British are just getting themselves down there. The, they've put their guns onto the small of the hill. I guess they did have to get into range. I kind of was wondering why they were moving, but... There we go, and they are firing out down there, and they're firing at the, uh, yeah, that's what I was figuring, at, uh, the hunters who are just out there in the field. They must think that they are camouflaged out there because they're wearing the same color. This guy right over here, he's just sporting himself. He's like, I ain't moving nowhere. I don't care about no, uh, none of them, uh, cavalry, or those, them cannonballs coming at me. We'll just kind of wait for you. Watch those cannonballs coming at us. Just throw us all your balls. Ooh. Yep. Ain't, you see, this guy just ain't gonna flinch. This guy is no flinch. Ooh. Well, maybe he flinched. Now they're actually gonna start moving towards the British, and the artillery now is beginning to fire up at the British who are up here, who are just not caring. They're just gonna go ahead and keep on marching forward. It is interesting. The Siberian hunters have gotten in here, and their uh, cavalry have not moved. They've, they're basically in there, in ambush, waiting for the British to come at them at, on this side. So we'll see what happens to them on that side. Well, meanwhile, the British go at there. I think I see, oh, now some ar artillery going into those woods, and they're gonna just sort of march into that, going, we don't care. And the infantry is marching up. You can see behind here, the cavalry is shifting. Looks like they're gonna try to do something on this side. And cannonballs are just whizzing over their heads. They're bringing their artillery over. They, they found they really don't have any targets on this side, so they're gonna bring their their artillery across the field to try to concentrate on uh, the defensive position on the left, of course the Russian right. And now a firefight has ensued over here in the woods. The uh, Siberian hunters have the advantage because they're in the woods, well hidden and able to pick them off. The Russians, in order to get rid of them, are just going to have to charge into there and uh, scare them away. And it looks like a general has been killed on that side. The uh, it, oh, in fact, I think they only have one enemy general. That must have been they. They must have been going a little bit too far forward. And you can see that the Siberian hunters who are here for oh, I see they sent. Uh oh, we got a pause here. Game pause. Uh oh, what's going on with the uh, with the game here? Did he get stuck? Okay, well, we I see I got a little glitch there for a moment, folks. Sorry about that. But it looks like they sent their general out there to push back the uh, Sib Siberian hunters. And uh, that, that did not pay off as they uh, now got uh, their general killed and in including the rest of his company. There's only one flag bearer kind of going back. Uh, so the Siberian hunters have kind of done their, a lot of what they wanted. On oh, the puckle guns, I think that's what the, is shooting. They're kind of like early forms of uh, the, what do you call it, um, of the Gatling guns. It's almost like a 4th of July type of thing. And of course the uh, skirmishers are now drawing in the British. They uh, have done their job, fired off a little bit of a salvo. In fact, they drew in the, uh, what do you call the commander, enough to get killed. I do not understand why it keeps pausing, but we're going to just keep on going with that. Oh, okay, and now, now they've sent their uh, Siberian cavalry, or was that Siberian cavalry? The Cossacks, the Attaboys, the Atamans, uh, up along this direction. Going all up around the flank. It looks like they're probably going to go after the artillery. And the British infantry is just like we ha just have to push forward. We are committed now. We do have that puckle gun coming, you know, firing at us. And it does look like they did get rid of the uh, skirmishers that are in there. But that doesn't really matter because the uh, Russian cavalry has now rushed around the side. Just we, like we thought they would probably rush around their flank there. Either protecting their flank or creating a flank attack and getting rid of that artillery on that side. And so now the British artillery on that flank is done for. Their cavalry is now trying to figure out what to do. Their artillery is turning on their 24 pounders. Actually, that's gonna be make short work of those that cavalry, unless the cavalry can get itself moving and get over here to take out these guns. And they're gonna go do that while meanwhile, the British over here are trying to make their way at that wall. They have gotten to that wall, they are at the uh, angle there, but they've been broken and just got right up to there and uh, 
Yes, with all that artillery right in their faces, especially probably got some grape shot, that has scared them away and they are running home now. Meanwhile, these British are making one last uh, valiant charge here. They are going after the uh, edge. Oh, and they've managed to get a flank on them. They've gotten around the edge and the Russians realize they have been flanked, so they're going to push back. Now the British actually have something here. Plus, they have stopped the cavalry attack along the far right. They, the British uh, cavalry has gone up and intercepted the Cossacks. Meanwhile, the Cossacks on the other side, this is why you do a pincer movement. If one of them gets stalled, the other one just keeps on going, and they are going after all of the remaining artillery. And it looks like the infantry that's down there, all of it has broken apart except for the ones on the far, uh, on the far side. Regiment of Horse has broken through. Oh, Regiment of Horse managed to break through, and so this part of the wall has been breached. The Russians are trying to uh, recover and make a stand in the middle there. Meanwhile, back here, the uh, Cossacks have managed to uh, take out some of that uh, cavalry and have taken out more of the artillery. The infantry is trying to catch it up with them. That was an interesting move because the uh, the Russians, by having it mostly be cavalry over on this on the side way over here with all the woods, uh, they brought drew the infantry into those woods with those Siberian hunters, and then they got stuck there while the cavalry ran around the long side and just came over here and took out the British uh, artillery. That was some clever maneuvering by the Russians there. Uh, Russians, meanwhile, are still tangled up here with the British, but that was the thing to get them on that side while the others. Go. Now the British, their one chance here is now to break around this far side. They have brought their infantry around rather than going at them from the front. They're now going at their fr uh, side. They are pushing back with some of that infantry probably to go back and deal with that Cossack cavalry. They are too late, however, because they, their uh, artillery has been destroyed. And so way, way over here on their far left, they are going to regroup and try to go along the way uh, around the, the uh, Russian right flank here. Uh, I mean, practically in the center because, I mean, practically behind them, practically through their rear, but the Russians have, uh, pulled up a defense that, uh, is sort of refusing the flanks, and so the, uh, they only got a partial flank there on, on the, uh, guards, and now the Siberian hunters are going up to protect entirely on their side. But the British have come around on both sides because they have some coming from the woods over there, and so the Russians are trying to protect themselves with whatever they have on this side, and it is only a little bit of British infantry, there's, there's not a lot to deal with. Uh, they are actually setting themselves up against this wall to fight against the British there. I mean, look at this setup. Let's actually pause for a second just to see where everybody is. It is pretty crazy here. Because you do have the British coming around on their long flank on this side. And they're pulling, pushing in on all of these sides. Pressure on all ends. Not very much on this side, but enough to... Uh, get in on the rear on the Russians here. We're trying to turn at the British on this side So it's like kind of like the British are all around here The Russians are trying to pull out to fight deal with that and are now getting flanked from that side and from in from the rear uh, So it's it, it, the uh, Russians kind of have the advantage here in terms of like inter interior lines and stuff uh, And the British are running low on numbers, but the British have them surrounded so it's uh, almost entirely surrounded so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I think everywhere else is pretty much over. The British artillery is gone. Uh, there's a little bit of a cavalry fight up there, but right now it's a matter of what can they do in this center area. And of course these over here, now these British troops are hitting them hard, but they're also getting hit with canister. And the, the Russian troops see it and they're running behind that wall. They're going to try to get to that protection of that, behind that wall. But there are not many places for them to go for protection. Every, where they turn, there is somebody in their rear. And in fact, they're still trying to protect against this British infantry coming from this side, but they just cannot protect themselves. So they're trying to use the buckle guns to, uh, to or is that buckle or is that 24 pounder artillery, ooh, against the infantry coming in on three angles on that side now. While meanwhile, they're coming in on three angles on this side. Or Four angles, and they're going to actually swing around even further to try to get a wider uh, flank. And as they do that, they are stretching their line further, and you can see the toll that it's having on the British line over there as it's getting hit with canister shot. And that's it. Those uh, the uh, the uh, line infantry has had enough. They're running home, leaving with one less British. That uh, over here, they are getting their flank. But the sacrifice, they sacrificed an entire unit to get this over here. I'm not quite sure if that's going to pay off for them. However, we're going to see because they're running way around the side here to come in on their rear. And the, that artillery cannot get them from that angle. And there is no one really to protect against them at the moment. They're going to turn. So that might have been a payoff. And now they're coming in for... Oh, they're stalling for the charge. They, if they charge there, 
that actually might do it in for the Russians. And here they go come. They are coming in at the Russian rear. Even though the Russians have that interior line and they've been pushing away a lot of the British, they could do something. But the British are failing to advance now. This is going to hurt them. They're instead going to stop and start firing where they could possibly finish the Russians off at this point. So, and now they're going to try to run around this flank again. They're spending a lot of time just kind of going, all right, let's, let's actually try to accomplish something rather than just going at them. And now they've been scared away. These, the li this line infantry that could have gone into their rear, took a long time and sacrificed a lot to get back there and could have finished the Russians off, has now been uh, scared off themselves. So that's going to stop them for that. And now you have some more... Oh, the Russian cavalry. I thought this was British uh, infantry coming back around, but no, it is Russian cavalry has come back to protect against these assaults. The British are coming around. Let's see if they, the British have any... No, they're trying to regroup back there in the, in the back. The Russian cavalry is going to take care of them there. So you instead, once again, are stuck with a, for, a uh, frontal assault by the British. They are surrounding them on several different sides and uh, getting a few good hits in there, and they do have the numbers on them, but the, uh, the, the Russians do still have their, their artillery. And somebody's firing over there for some reason. I'm not sure what's over there. All right. So it's coming down to this. And these, the Russian uh, guards. Oh, that is a bad unit to have retreating. They have, they have been pushed back. The, there's nothing there to stop the British now because this artillery's looking the wrong direction, and this infantry unit is trying to defend against the light infantry over here. And now the guards are going to pull back. They're not retreating, but they are doing a tactical uh, a tactical retreat or a um, pulling back. Who do they keep firing at? Well, that artillery is really pointing in the wrong direction because they are firing at retreating units. Certainly they're keeping them retreating, but the artillery really needs to be turned the opposite direction. And now you have the British going on both sides. They're going to uh, do a pincer movement on, on each side. Got one facing a line of, what is this, guards? Yeah, I think it was all guards on the uh, Russian side. They're uh, forming up, preparing themselves for the British coming in. The British are coming, the British are coming. Then shoot them. Oh, they're just going to point their uh, big sticks at them. Oh, and there goes, uh, yeah, some canister shot into them. All right, well, while they kind of guard against them, they're just kind of waiting for the British to come a little bit closer. The British are closing in on other fronts. Oh, the British are going to get a shot in, but the guards are not going to yet. And now the uh, Russians are loading up their cannons to pull back. I don't know if they're going to try to leave this battlefield or... Because this isn't a campaign or anything, so I'm not sure why they would do that. But it looks like they're going to pack up and try to move back a little ways. British, meanwhile, have lost another unit. This is going to have to go pull back and regroup. Oh, here we go. Now the Russians actually had something to deal with back here. The cannons were facing back here and firing, and they needed to uh, be firing because of this thing here. And there's the Cossacks for you. Have now pushed away the infantry on that side. So the Russians' left is protected. And their right is not. They tried to do the same thing over here, but the Cossacks got the worst end of it. And now they are retreating while the British uh, continue to close in on this side. And these guys continue to just not fire. I don't think they want to fire. They just are like, ah, we like aiming our guns. We don't like firing them. We, and we'd rather die. You know, if you don't ever fire your gun, you're just going to keep on getting killed. They have nice flowers on their hats, though. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe those are flowers that were put inside their guns, and they're like, it don't work no more. Could also be they're out of bullets, and the uh, commander just doesn't know that. He just sort of ordered them to do that. But that is going to be one retreating Russian unit, and I, that might be about it at that point. Oh, I guess you do have guards over here protecting this wall, but they're surrounded on all sides. Oh, but you do have some Siberian hunters who were over here in the woods, pulled back, and now they're, they've come back in, and they're flanking the uh, British over there. Now some uh, grape shot is going into the British over on this side. And yeah, the Russians are just trying to save their lives, firing on all ends, on all, uh, on all angles.
You can see that the howitzer is still firing because there was some arch firing over here on this left side. You know, what the problem with the British is that they have uh, come in on all sides and they've been sniping, but they just haven't committed. Because several times they really could probably do something if they just go ahead and commit and go in there. But uh, by doing these standoffs, the Russians oftentimes have a bit of an advantage. Plus, of course, the British are without their commander, so their morale might not be as good. And the Cossacks are going to try it again, this time probably with the other unit. And they cause them to retreat. All oh, That's all they need to do. They probably... There aren't enough Cossacks really to take them on, but the fear of their charge uh, has scared them away. And that would scare me away as well. They're going to keep on following them. The rest of the British look like they're shaky. And the Russians don't have a lot left, but they might have just enough to win. It looks like that's it. They have enough to shake them off. There's no other British here. They're uh, in retreat. And that'll do it for us here. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, and happy gaming, everybody.